Shut. What's up, mother? F Let's go. Wow, wow, wow. All right, we are going to talk about. I just moved my camera, so I don't know where it is, but it's there. So we're gonna talk about, uh, or we're gonna do some keying, uh, and uh, that could be hard, and it could be easy. Uh, it could be hard if you have a really bad green screen, uh, but it could be really easy if you have a good green screen. I don't know. Uh, we recorded something last week, and we're gonna try to key it today uh, with the help of my good friend Kalle, as usual. Uh, so let's just uh, dive in and see how it goes. Uh, so here I have my Anchor Mail C01, which is pretty much Kalle talking Yiddish. Uh, and we're gonna try to key it and see how it goes. Uh, I guess just follow along. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this into test input 1. Uh, which give us this kind of not so nice image, but we're 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 getting there. Uh, so we put it in input one, and we have test. So this is how it looks uh, straight out of it, straight out of the camera, I guess you could say. Uh, we don't. Maybe we need to crop it. We can try to crop it a bit, since he's not moving at all. And we can do like this, and maybe a little, let's maybe if we, yeah, like that. And then we move over to the key, uh, and then we're gonna first going to use the clean plate generator, which uh, since it's a locked off shot, we can use the clean plate generator, but if, if it's a tracked camera, we can't use it yet, but hopefully we will someday in the future. Uh, so let's just select clean plate generator and deselect pure and pretty much what this does is it's filling in everything with green green maybe we should go go to original as well and select the correct color let's select this color and then we go back to monitor mode and select uh, final. And the goal here is to have it as clean as possible. Uh, of course you can't get it. The, the best thing is to just take a clean plate from the beginning. But we're gonna try it like this. So this is pretty good. Let's capture the trigger. Uh, like Capture the clean plate. Uh, like so. And then we can go back to the advanced B. So when we get back to the advanced B, you can use this little trig uh, toggle here, which is uh, to use the clean plate. Uh, and if you change the monitor mode to matte, you can see what it does. It kind of cleans it up a bit. Uh, and you need to drag this one a bit more. Maybe drag in, yeah, somewhere like that. That's good. That looks pretty good. So here's the final. That looks kind of good. Uh, it's a start at least. Uh, let's see if we can... Maybe we should uh, transi uh, position him Maybe we should try try a bit with those. Look at camera, that's good. Inverse tone map, maybe, no, yes, maybe. Lit. Kind of picks up the light a bit. Looks more n naturalistic. Uh, but we're here to key, not to play around with the comp. So let's go back to keying. Uh, we, maybe we should go back to clean plate generator and see if we can get a better... Somewhere like that. Oh yeah, we need to have pure on. No, not pure on. Have to find the correct parameters. Let's find the threshold. Trigger him 
straight in the middle like that and let's go back to advanced B looks pretty good it's like so maybe maybe we should shrink it a bit and here's the shadow zone what can we do with that because we maybe we don't need so much shadows so how does that look should we say that it's a pretty good key, right? That looks that looks pretty good. And the D spill does magic. You have to be careful so he doesn't turn into a uh, a pig. <laughs> uh, uh, that looks kind of good. And how how what's the blue CC on doing then? Yeah, we're getting some blue back in the dress as well. The dress? Can you call it a dress? I don't know. The costume. But that looks pretty good. Let, how does it look on a black comp? Yeah, you have some spill here, but I think that's good for the contact uh, with the floor. Uh, uh, so I usually have this as matte, but maybe but we can could just drag it way in. So we can remove everything. So how does this look without the clean plate? Yeah, so the clean plate is pretty good. Here's the final. So I just went ahead and got me a, a little bit more of a close-up. Uh, so we can test uh, a little more detailed keying. Uh, these are just 1920-1080, but uh, it's always best to key in you know, the highest resolution you have. 1920-1080 and plug this one into test input 2 and change the camera to 2 uh, and also put this in test mode then we can go back to camera 2 and we have to plug all these into the correct spot as well so back to business we are still recording uh, let's find a good frame for this Let's see it like this. Uh, and then we can go back to the keying. So it looks like this. Uh, pretty clean recording. I did it myself. Uh, but he has a lot of green spill. Uh, let's see how good the Ximetro keyer is at the moment. So let's go back to keying. Uh, and we should try the clean plate generator once more. And let's select the new background color, select someone close to Kalle. And then we can deselect the pure. And yeah, let's just capture this as a clean plate. There we go. And back to advanced B. So uh, we need to set the correct background color here as well. So go to input. I don't know if you need to do it when you're using clean plate, but let's do it anyway. And then tri uh, toggle the use clean plate. You can see that, right? Yes. Nothing happens because we need to change the mat. So that's a pretty fucking clean key. Let's just... It's at zero, but we have some noise, so let's drag it up a bit until we don't see any noise anymore yeah I would love to use the tricolor but I don't know how it works and as you can see he has some spill in his face let's drag down the high cut a bit more so we can get the cleaner key but that's pretty pretty close that's pretty good and does it look on white of course it looks good on white black still has some Maybe that's just my monitor. Uh, let's see the math again. Yeah, he has some uh, spill. So we, I think we need to drag the slider a bit more like that. You don't want to pull too much in on these two sliders because then you're going to start to lose the fine, finer details, the hair details. But as you can see, we still have some hair detail. So let's go to final 
And as you can see, he's, yeah, he's really, let's, let's forward crank it a bit. Yeah, you have to be, have to drag it, cut it quite a bit, but you still have some good hair. And it's on lit. And do we have some, I think lit, we have some adjustment, no. Let's go to lit again. That looks pretty good. Uh, so lit means that it receives the lightning from Unreal. Uh, and in this case it's maybe good, I don't know. Let's see if we can uh, fix the camera angle. So it's probably gonna be uh, more zoomed in. So I think it's alt and the scroll wheel. No, alt, no. Space and left mouse button and drag. So I can go back a bit and we also need to raise the billboard I think. I think I, and we need to zoom in a bit more. So let's see if we can do this good. Let's scale him down a bit. Move him like so. He's trying to roughly match the other camera. So it looks good. So we got some outlines. I think that's because of... Uh, using... What could it be? I think we maybe need to line him. Yeah, so that's the out of focus part. <clears throat> so we get the outline because the plane is not at the correct focal length. So let's try to fix that. Or what we also could do if we want to have this out of focus uh, blur move him closer to the camera until the outline disappears. So here's the outline. You can see that's the out of focus because the billboard goes into the Unreal Engine. But somewhere here and then we just need to scale him down. And move him up. So it's kind of cheating but no one will ever know. But that it looks pretty good. And as you can see, since I'm using uh, a lot of virtuals, uh, we're actually putting him into uh, the physical or, or the virtual physical space. And that's why he receives this nice glow around his edges. Uh, but if we don't want to do that, we can also use the light wrap to roughly get the same, you know, Kind of same effect, but it's uh, of course better to. Oops. It's of course better to use uh, the built in Unreal Bloom to get it more real. So he's trying to match it. But uh, I would say that's. Pretty fucking high quality stuff right there. So how does it look? So of course now he's not matching, but uh, if we disable the adjuster and put uh, put a lot of virtuals back in, they should match pretty good. So let's let's find <clears throat> if we do the do a little, little sideways turn over here, like that. <laughs> then we jump into the up. Oh, we have some animations going on here. Let's copy A to B. But usually, what I like to do is to give it a bit of camera motion, and so it kind of moves a bit to give it a more 
li 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 liveliness. But it's nice to have them composited in inside the Unreal world, because uh, then you get the nice bloom. Uh, but it's, I guess this looks pretty good, but of course he wouldn't look this blue if we were doing it for real. So let's reset these settings. And <clears throat> maybe add some red to him, like, and some contrast. And some more saturation, maybe. But that's, that looks pretty good. Let's copy that adjustment to the other one. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, but that's pretty sweet. Let's see if we can do something else with uh, with the key here. So I'm on the close-up, the edge color width. What does that do? I, I don't use that much, but I guess it's blending the edges a bit. Uh, I don't know. Remove highlight. Don't see anything about it. Of course, you have the shrink and feather, which could be at use sometimes, but I don't see any. So here's the, here you can see the feathering. But it looks, this looks kind of cool actually. I would buy this. I buy whatever he talks about. Penis enlargement or whatnot. <laughs> Sorry, Callum. You look very serious and handsome. So I guess uh, that's a bit, a little bit of an insight on how to use the key when uh, you are using locked off uh, cameras. And I think the key in Eximetry is excellent. Uh, and it's, as long as you know uh, how to use it, uh, it's really quick to, you know, do the key and uh, be, be done with it. Especially when you can use clean plates and uh, the best is, of course, to take a real clean plate, but the built-in clean plate generator works really, really good. So have fun and uh, good luck. So have fun and uh, good luck. So have fun and uh, good luck. Have fun and good luck. Have fun and good luck. Have fun and... Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck.